it is the season of giving and in this video i'll share with you some of the coolest little items that will make perfect gifts for the photographer in your life welcome back to the channel my name is cjam and it's that time of year where we give 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 and a lot of these things that i'm going to be recommending to you today are stuff that i've either owned or used in the past or still use and own them today so that's why i think they will make great gifts and it's not just for the holiday season but they make great birthday gifts or graduation gifts etc etc the photographer in your life will appreciate any one of these items you end up getting for them and every item i recommend today will be linked in the description below and i'll do my best to put an alternative option for each item those links in the description are affiliate links which means that if you click on the link and make a purchase from one of those links i'll earn a small commission at no extra cost to you so it's a really nice way to support the channel so with no further delays let's start looking at our gift ideas first on our list are sd cards you can never ever have too many sd cards and the photographer in your life will definitely appreciate you because the more SD cards you have, the longer you can keep shooting, right? So the more, the merrier. The second item on our list is related to SD cards and that's a carrying case for your SD cards, right? Because the more cards you have, you don't want to lose them. You want to keep them all in one centralized location. And this is the case that I've been using for the last three years. And as you can see, it holds 12 cards and it has a little hook right here that you can just hook it onto your bag, your camera bag, but the inside of your bag, not the outside. So I definitely recommend getting this protective case for your SD card, right? I'll put the link in the description, as I said earlier. Everything will be linked below. The third item on our list is also related to an SD card, and that's the SD card reader, right? I mean, you're going to want somewhere to read your card, to plug in your card, to get the files off and this is the one i'm using right now and this one reads four different types of cards how cool is that some of them read six different types of cards so it's definitely a great tool a great addition to your working setup right and these are great because if you're editing on a laptop if the port on your laptop goes bad the card reader port these will save your life and save your project so it's a highly highly recommended tool to have in your arsenal. Number four on our gift ideas list are external hard drives. And I always personally use Western digital drives. One of the most important things you should be doing as a photographer is backing up your files, right? Taking them off your SD cards, putting them on your computer, and then backing up those files from your computer onto external hard drives right so should in case god forbid something happens to your computer you already have a copy on your external hard drive and these come in all different shapes sizes and colors as you can see here right there are two types of external hard drives now on the market external hard drives and external solid state drives right i'll put links in the description so you can see how to weigh your options in price versus storage Solid state drives are much more expensive, but you get less storage. Hard drives are much more affordable, but you get way more storage, right? So you just weigh those according to your needs. The fifth gift idea on our list is a backpack. Every photographer needs a backpack to carry their cameras and their equipment. And I personally use this giant low pro, like all weather backpack. See that? It has a laptop sleeve somewhere here on the side you can put a laptop right there and it just has so many compartments right see that i mean i took some of the separators out because i customize it so this is where my camera would go and then you can see how many other compartments i have like crazy crazy customizable and it's just really really a great tool i mean it's a necessity your photographer needs a backpack this particular one is made with a built-in like rain shield so if you're out shooting in the rain you just pull that out and cover the bag so it's a necessity it's a no-brainer you need a backpack number six on our gift ideas list is a camera strap and i'm not talking about the camera strap that comes with your camera i'm talking about a black rapid sports strap a sling camera strap right one like this that goes over your shoulder like this and it just hangs on the side so it's not choking you like the traditional camera straps right and what you can do with this is 
is it has a receiving end on the camera and you just hook it on like this and it has a safety screw lock right here and then your camera hangs like that and then when you're bringing your camera up to shoot it just slides through that loop right and you can control how far the loop slides with these little locks right here so it's definitely a great alternative and i highly recommend it when thinking about the options like your traditional camera straps the default ones that come with the camera the black rapid sport is a great strap to upgrade or improve the workflow of the photographer in your life number seven on our list is a power bank or portable charger right that way you're able to keep your phone charged all day if you're out on a long shoot you just plug your phone's cable in here in the usb area and then you'll have that power on the go right so you'll always be able to communicate and be in touch with your loved ones in the case of an emergency it's a really cool tool to have and you'll never know you need it until you don't have it so consider getting one really cool number eight the eighth gift idea on our list is a reflector and particularly a five in one reflector by newer that's the one that i have right here and it's just this disc that you just reflect light off of let me show you here just open this whoop and then like it has a white side a black side a gold and a silver side and you just like flip it open and you use it's like huge and then you use it to just reflect the light i don't know if you can see it like you see how the light is just bouncing back onto my face like if i were to move it see it's just reflecting the light and it has the gold side here see that see how it's reflecting the gold right here so it's a really cool tool to have as a photographer and especially if you're on natural light shoots or if you're using one light source and you want to just like reflect back some of that light onto your subject to make it seem like you're using two light sources you definitely need a reflector trust me it will save your life and save your shoot gift idea number nine is a multi-outlet plug right that way you can plug more than one things into a little like portal outlet i don't have mine with me it's somewhere here but the one i recommend is the anchor power strip mini 2 or power strip 2 mini and i don't have this exact one but i have a lot of them here on the house that i use and it's definitely something that you need to throw in your bag because you never know when you're going to need to be charging your batteries on a shoot or if you don't have your power bank and you want to charge your phone but have you ever been somewhere and there's only one outlet available and it's being used like I don't like having that feeling and I'm sure you don't so you definitely want to have a multi outlet wall tap in your bag number 10 on our list is a cleaning kit for your camera like have you ever just like been using a camera and just look through the viewfinder and you realize that some there's some little black spots on the glass in your camera well your cleaning kit has something like this in there like you just like hold the camera down and just blow that in there and it will just remove the loose dirt on it or if you have like some serious dirt and you need to like just use some of the cleaning solution that comes in the kit and a little cotton swab and just clean the glass inside your camera like there's a lot of little cool accessories in the cleaning kit you know as well as like microfiber cloths to just like wipe off the glass without leaving any residue a cleaning kit is a no-brainer trust me it will come in handy definitely definitely will come in handy number 11 gaff tape like i didn't know i needed gaff tape until i bought gaff tape like i have a black and a white here when i bought them it was like this thick and i've found so many uses for them like you can use them to pick, tape an x on the floor and tell your model if you're having a photo shoot to just stand where x marks the spot right if you're running some cables across the ground and you don't want anybody to trip over those cables like use some gaff tape there are just so many uses for gaff tape you definitely need a couple of gaff tape in your bag number 12 number 12 a tripod like everybody needs a tripod right in your photography it's not even something to think about and the ones that i've been using for the last six years i've owned i own two of these and this one is the dalika b204 i have the b200 right here that the camera is on recording right now and this has been my workhorse tripod especially with recording learn share week in and week out this tripod has never ever let me down like 
I love this thing, right? It has a ball head that you can adjust here and this spins like so. Like, trust me, this tripod is the workhorse. You definitely need a tripod. It comes in 60 inches like height. It comes in 65 inch and I believe they have a shorter one. I'll put all of those in the description as well. And number 13, editing software. Every photographer needs some kind of software to edit their photos to get the best results out of what they captured, right? And I personally use Adobe Lightroom and you can get that from Adobe's website. I'll put a link in the description below. You can also get it on Amazon and they sell a combo with Lightroom and Photoshop. So that's a sweet, sweet two-in-one deal. Link in the description below. And here's a nice, sweet bonus to top things off. You need a t-shirt that says, hey, I'm a photographer, hire me. And if you really want to get someone a t-shirt that lets everyone know that they're a photographer, you can buy one of my shirts. Be sure to check out that link in the description as well. What a way to sweeten the deal, right? And here's another special secret list I have for you. Every photographer needs a camera, right? You can't be a photographer without a camera. So I put together a nice little beginner camera list if the person you're buying a gift for doesn't yet have a camera, here's what I recommend. At the time of recording this video, Amazon.com has some great beginner starter kits that start less than 700 US dollars that will make great first cameras for the photographer in your life. Recommendation number one is the Canon EOS M50 kit. This camera is really, really hot on the market right now and it's a great starter camera. It does 4K video and it's everything a beginner will ever need. The next one I have is the Nikon D5600 kit. Two of the cameras that I have here that I always use are basically the same thing as the D5600. The next starter camera that I recommend is the Panasonic G7 kit. Really, really great camera to start with. It does 4K video as well an all-round beginner camera and a very, very solid workhorse. This last camera that I have on the list is above $700, but is definitely worth it. And I could not have completed this list without adding this camera to it. And that's the Sony A6100. This camera takes great pictures and does 4K video as well. And it will last a really, really long time. It's a relatively new camera because it came out last year in 2019. And it's definitely, definitely comparable to some of the higher end cameras. This Sony A6100 is the one that I would say is my most recommended on this list of beginner cameras. It's a great camera. I can't stress that enough. A question that I've been getting so much hair on the channel or just in DMs and in the comments as well is just what kind of computer should I buy to edit? So I've chosen three computers that are really good for photo editing based on the minimum requirements of Adobe Lightroom, you know, the same recommended software that I mentioned earlier. And you can see the recommended specs, the minimum required specs on Adobe's website. And I've chosen these laptops based on those requirements, right? Always remember, a laptop or a computer purchase is up to you and what you think will best suit your needs. So be sure to look up what you're going to be using the laptop for in this case photo editing if you're using it for gaming just go on the games website and check what are the minimum requirements right that's always a best practice the three laptops that i've picked out are under 1000 us dollars so i really did my best to make it budget friendly these three computers will be linked in the description below under computer right so be sure to check it out and remember every single thing that we discussed today from our gift ideas list will be linked below as well. The photographer in your life will love you even more if you get them anything on this list. I can guarantee that. So I really hope that this list of gift ideas for photographers will help you with your gift buying decisions. And if you need any further clarification, just send me an email. My email address is listed below. Send me a DM on social media or just leave a comment on this video. Remember, it's better to give than to receive. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Sijam and I will see you guys in the next video.